All right, so this is the coup de gras, people. I'm here at REI in Gainesville. They did have a sign on the door, mass required. It's, even in Florida, we got Democrat towns. Gainesville's a Democrat town. Uh, but people in there weren't wearing masks, so I took mine off, so that was good. Even though they said they required on the door, and you know what, I'll, I'll adhere to whatever a business has to say, you know, I mean, but since other people didn't have them on, I took mine off. Uh, you know, I noticed over here there's a Whole Foods market. I, I love Whole Foods, but I just can't think of anything that I need. I, since I'm leaving, anything I buy I probably just perish anyway. So let's show you the, uh, the coup de gras. Now I'm going to take this box and see if they'll recycle it. Now this is, this is where we're so wasteful as a, as a society. I mean, look at all this trash just from my pickup. But this is why I said this is the coup de gras. We got some uh, wilderness wipes with aloe vera, vitamin E. Uh, I, I got a $20 coupon with this purchase. Uh, and so I went ahead and just picked up another pair of hiking socks. Boy, I tell you, these things are expensive. These were $19. Can you believe that shit for a pair of socks? But they're merino wool. And you know you know me, I talk about merino wool quite often. Uh, we're going for a hike today, so I got the bug netting along. I mean, we're doing a big time hike. I tell you what, good to have the K-Bar. Because <laughs> I had to cut that box open. And uh, I'll show you, let me show you something. This is, uh, this is where I keep the K-Bar. This is for carjackings, okay? You might want to do the same. I slam it in right here. Boom. Keep it right beside the seat. <laughs> Helps keep the cups in the liner. So there you go. Uh, but I wanted to show you some of the food I'll be taking along. We got some beef stroganoff with noodles. This is what I'm talking about with the Mountain House. And we got some chili mac with beef. That's a, that's a hearty meal. Uh, we got some chicken and dumplings. And believe it or not, this is any one of these is a whole day of food for me. Boy, I understand where these GoPros are trying to save the battery, but I do like being able to see what I'm looking at. But I got some pad thai with chicken. Not my favorite, but got to have a variety. And then today I added some beef stew. So I spent another $10. Now this is that REI bag I was telling you about. Look at them monster wheels right there. Here, let's bring it out. Let's roll it around. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's the coup de gras. So no more carrying that huge dive bag. And look at how big this thing is. I can get I can get all my clothes in there. Of course, I'll have the backpack in the car too. So we're getting close. We're getting close to fitting on the road. Let's go get a hike in, people. I got a place. Uh, well, there's two places that I want to might hit today. I don't know yet. Let's just see if we can get there. Woohoo! Let's get hiking. So I had to add a clip to the video, <laughs> looking at the REI song. Uh, they did recycle the box, which is good. I'm glad they would do that. But uh, so then I figured I'd better avail myself of the bathroom and uh, genderless bathrooms. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break out in a rash being in a Democrat city. I mean, I. You know, that's the first time I've seen that uh, anywhere. Genderless bathrooms. There was no men's, no women's. It was genderless. That's, this, is, this is what it's like being in a Democrat town, and I'm heading to a Democrat state. I'm not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to it at all. So this is what I've been looking forward to. This is the Paynes Prairie Preserve State Park. La Chua, I guess that's how you pronounce that, trail entrance. And uh, if you don't have a Florida Park Pass, you'll need one, but I've got one, so. And I'm not even sure exactly how that works. I'm just put it on my dash. I was thinking maybe tuck it under the windshield wiper because if a ranger stopped by and wanted to, to see if I paid, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But anyway, let's get hiking. So I do like to make note of these things. Uh, no pets or bikes allowed here. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to hit the Payne's Prairie Park because uh, I don't think this is gonna be a great hike. But uh, I did want to see it. Uh, a lot of people here today, so it's very popular. Um, I couldn't get the sign on the, on the video yet. I'll get that on the way out because there's a lot of people there and 
you know, I don't want to bother them. And uh, you can see there's a lot of people here at this sign. Well, maybe we can get this sign on the video. Yeah, yeah, they're moving along. So uh, we should be able to hike around here. It says bike crossing. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, well, you could bring a bicycle here. Look at here. You got a bike trail. Uh, boy, I tell you, this is, this would be nice. Look at that. Yeah, here comes a guy on a bicycle coming that way. And uh, bike trail goes on up that way. But let's get the um, the site map on the uh, video here. Um, so this is the Lachua Trail. Uh, so here you go. Elevated boardwalk winds around. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Aka Kakumchua Sink leads to a sunny grassy trail through a prairie basin marsh to an observation platform overlooking Atua Lake. See alligators and abundant wildlife. Now hopefully we'll see some gators along the way. Uh, but it didn't, well it's, well it's just three miles round trip, that's not too bad. Uh, but we're gonna have to do more than that today. Um, so uh, let's get going. I'll, oh here you go, this is where we are. So we're we're right here, and so we're going to hike down this way, I guess, this way. And this must be the bike trail. Boy, it looks like it goes on a long ways. Uh, the Hawthorne. Yeah, I've heard of that. I, well, I was here when that last time I was here. Well, we could just hike the bike trail and get a little bit of that in today. That's what I'll do. Rather than go down to uh, Payne's Prairie, we'll get, the, get some of the bike trail in, in addition to this uh, little hike down here towards the um, the uh, the tower let's get going so always good to see this <laughs> I guess that's a genderless bathroom but uh, you'd expect that here um, hey don't don't feed the gators <laughs> always cracks me up when I see them stupid signs by the way I had to talk about that genderless bathroom at REI you know, hey, REI, you know, if you're going to have a gentleness bathroom, at least put a urinal in there. Because <laughs> men are going to pee all over that toilet seat when you just have a toilet in a genderless bathroom. So, all right, let's get going. To get this, I always like to get the signs on the... Uh, so this old concrete railway trestle is a remnant of the Florida Southern Railroad. Cruise lead tracks here, starting in 1882, the railroad played a major role in the founding of the history of Gainesville. The Gainesville Hawthorne Trail now follows this historic stretch of rail line. The path under the railway trestle was built decades ago to allow Camp Ranch to move their cattle off the prairie. Hmm. Cows were herded here from one side of the tracks to the other and then transported to the market. Imagine 24 trains a day rumbling over your head moving cattle, timber, cotton, and oranges. So here's the, uh, here's the trestle. And you can kind of see, you know, where the, I guess the railway probably came along there. But uh, I don't know. Maybe this, this portion's just gone now. So pretty cool. There was some, <laughs> there was some kids playing up there just a minute ago. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So, uh, but you can see it's just kind of a concrete path. Uh, not a whole lot to it, you know. I, you know me. I, much prefer being out in the forest by myself, but uh, you got to do different things. Let's keep going. Well, this is pretty cool. I guess this is where they brought the cattle. And uh, I'll just get this on the video and read it myself. Let's get it up close so you can pause there. And then pause there. And then pause there there you go so I'm going to sit here for just a few minutes and read this myself I read the whole thing to you the video would get too long but you can read it for yourself there you go and then uh, there you go Boy, a lot of writing on here. <laughs> I'm going to be here a few minutes reading this. And then the effects of heavy grazing were evident in this 1972 view of the prairie east of La Chua Trail. Look at that. Wow, that is crazy. 
So who says we destroy everything? In 1970, Payne's Prairie became Florida's first state preserve. The preserve covers 22,000 acres and offers diverse opportunities for visitors to connect to its unique natural and cultural history. Uh, Prairie's, the prairie's vast treeless expanse, uh, for which Payne's Prairie is known, was naturally maintained by the complex and dynamic forces of fire and flood. Today's preserve staff aims to restore the prairie to its natural state in accordance with the mission of the Florida Park Service, to provide resource-based recreation while preserving, interpreting, and restoring natural and cultural resources. So I wanted to get this on the video. So they restored, the, there you go, they restored the natural flow of water. And today floods have returned. High water levels drown invading trees and maintain the open prairie and grand vistas. Okay, let's keep on going. So I'll let you read this on your own. I'll just hold it there for just a second so you can pause it. But I will get the first line here because it is interesting. The uh, Alachua Sink, a name likely derived from the Poteno word meaning jug, is the deepest of Prains Prairie's sinkholes and acts as a conduit for water entering the Floridian Aquifer at a rate of up to six million gallons per day. And then you'll have to read the rest on your own. Uh, fishing prohibited. <laughs> so, so we'll get some video. I think this is going to be, well, it'll be interesting. It does look beautiful. A lot of people here today. So always love the, looking at the trees. Look at that tree just kind of growing out of the side right there. All the way up. Okay, let's get going. So I thought I'd get a clip, but uh, don't want to get any faces on the video. But this is what it's looking like. Really cool. I mean, I can see why this is such a popular place. If you want to, kids or, uh, you know, you want to bring the, the wife here and just kind of spend a day. I mean, you could have a picnic back here in, in this shelter here. Uh, Really beautiful, by the way. We nailed the weather today. Oh my God. It's like 80 degrees. This, see, this is the time you want to be in Florida. That's why I don't want to be on the road, especially heading to north to a Democrat state. But uh, oh well, it is what it is. But uh, you can kind of see it's uh, there's supposed to be a gator up here. And uh, he's sleeping, supposedly. And uh, we'll get him on the video. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It looks like it's going to end right down here. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of heading down to Payne's Prairie State Park on 441 and get a hike in there. Um, but I'm glad I got to see this, you know. Now I see where the why they say no fishing, because you could fish over here. All right, let's get down to the end and then uh, hopefully get the gator on the video, if I can find him. Uh, they said I couldn't miss him, we'll see. But you see there's a bird over there. Okay. So I'm glad I'm up here on the uh, the boardwalk. <laughs> you wouldn't want to meet that guy uh, just walking around uh, in the forest. Look at the size of that gator right there. Can you see him? Yep, Let's I get, can see him. Get him, get him on. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> 